Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial about the Technobit 16A hex minor, hex 16A minor to be correct. And what I'm going to show you today is how you're plugging in your Technobit minor the correct way, that means uh, how to connect it per um, a Molex connector, con how to connect it per Thermonix connector and I'm going to introduce you to the program called Hexminer which is actually the working version for the um, Windows 7 um, operating system. So first I'm going to show you the two different versions of the Hexminer and for those I opened some pictures here. As you can see those are different connectors which I will explain at first um, I will start with the one on the left side, it's the mini USB connector and the second one is the terminal connector for the air fan it is not the terminal connector for your PSU it's only for the air fan be assured that you don't use it for something different this one is a board with a Molex connector it's the simplest way to connect, just plug in the connector and plug in the USB and everything will be fine. Um, there's also a close-up for from the Avalon chips, as you can see those are pretty tiny. Um, for example if, if you got them in your hands and you see how little those screws are and how little those Avalon chips are, um, it's pretty impressive. So let's close this one, we won't need it anymore. And I will show you another picture, actually also from the Technobit homepage. And it's about the terminal connector, which uh, could cause some problem or some confusion to some people. So I want to go sure that you just connected the right way. So this is actually the board which we got shown on, on the other picture. And now it's about this blue terminal connector where you can see it's written on the left side 12 volts, on the right side ground and you... I will show you on Wikipedia wait a moment, Wikimolex um, as you can imagine that normally if you got some PSU you uh, won't get any wire out of your PSU so you normally need to cut your uh, Molex connector and if you do so be sure that you use the yellow one for the 12 volt connectors and the black one for the crown the others are just 5 volts and you won't need it um, be sure that you cut the yellow and the black one and the yellow one goes into the left side from the terminal block the black one which is the crown goes to the right side assure that you do it. If you don't do so and do mix them up you could break your board and that would be really bad if you do so. So please don't do it. Um, yeah, let's just give you a short overview about the techno technobiteu.eu shop. It's just um, yeah, well, it's just a shop where you can order some hardware and what we need today is just this 7 giga hash hex 16a fully assembled miner because those are the um, downloads stored for the um, boards. Uh, what we need are the hex miner windows software download this one and also download the stratum proxy for hex miner it's really important as you can see down there it's just starting the fourth time because I start started this video the fourth time so uh third time and yeah let's just do it so if you downloaded those um go to your um in this case to your computer where you're installing it as you can see here it's also running right now but i will close this and show you how i did install them at first make sure that your mining proxy dot xa got installed because you will need it for the hex miner. Um, the mining proxy is actually some emulation for the stratum protocol which is used for um, this miner and be sure that you just double click it and there will come some prompt which says hey I need some admin rights I want to install something click yes and they will install uh, if you did so just close it everything's done then open the hex miner and at, if you start the hex miner the first time, probably this window won't open for you because you didn't set this auto start setting. 
um, just click it if you won't start the miner. So there are maybe four to five important options into the, in this hex miner GUI and I will explain them shortly. Um, make sure that the pool always is localhost because localhost means that we are using this emulation which we installed right now to use our miner. As I'm using only Eligius, my user in this example here will be some address from Eligius. It's just some donation address where I will let them mine for some time. And also the pass doesn't mine at Eligius because the password is ignored from the server. So then there are some different settings. Um, those checkboxes under those uh, just those checkboxes here. Um, let them how they are. Just ignore them. It's just some random stuff. You could click them and check out what changes, but to be honest, just let them the way they are. And then those are those two important buttons. It's like start everything and stop everything. For us, it's just start everything and it will start hashing the moment right after you clicked it. Um, I would advise you to set the Avalon chip hash rate to 480 mega hashes and the voltage to 1.44 or 1.45 and just click on all start. Um, if you did so, everything should start um, hashing the moment right now uh, after you clicked the button. Um, you could go and the chip settings higher than 480. I think the cap is around 580 mega hashes, but I wouldn't advise you to do so because, uh, as you can see here, they are already at this stage. Um, a lot of hardware errors are shown up, and well, they are not that much to be honest. It's okay. It's it's in the guidelines it's okay but uh, if you're going higher to 580 and also going higher in the voltage it will significantly rise the hardware error count and actually you you won't get more speed you will get less speed because your hardware errors will exceed and uh, your speed will drop it's just the best settings are 480 at uh, this voltage um, if you want to, or if you really got a good cooling solution, maybe, or got a cool room, or living at the North Pole, or whatever, you can try and change the settings here, but to be aware that um, you could break your device if you really go to 580 and also go here higher in the voltage, so use those settings, those will be the best and stable ones, that's what I think. So, um, one last thing here about the stratum converter, there's just, um, it's similar to CG miner for example, it's just the address of the mining pool you want to use. Be assured that, this is, that it is the stratum address and also the port um, for the stratum uh, address of the pool you want to use. So, as you can see, my miner is working and uh, one uh, there's still one thing I want to show, it's in the uh, system configuration, uh, devices and printers. Um, sometimes you could have troubles if you didn't update it all a Windows updates, so just do it. And it's just that um, the, the USB drivers there are normally in every Windows 7 installation, but um, there could be problems with them. Sometimes they disconnect, and if they do so, just download every actual Windows driver update, which is possible to download. If you still got any problems, con um, just contact Technobit. They got the actual and the newest USB driver for their emulation because they're using a USB serial port emulation here um, with the category of. Uh, emulating it as CDC RS um, minus 232 emulation and uh, it's just a special device they're using for uh, it's just some emulation they're using for and they got the drivers for it so if you got some problems with them with those um, devices um, just ask Technobit 
I think they will be heavily uh, just really happy to help you with that. So I think um, that's everything I wanted to tell you. Um, I'm really sorry about the bad quality of the, my microphone, but I only got the old headset here and uh, nothing new. Um, yeah, it's not the best one, but I hope I could help you. And as you can see, the speed here is around seven gigahertz. It's, it's really about to rise in the long term. It will be around seven four, seven six, and it really is stable at this point. So yeah, thanks for listening, and I hope I could help you. And yeah, nice hashing.